I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir, how can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? We got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Ah, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? How can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things, because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Uh, perhaps. There's an army captain. Lyndon Monroe, who was seconded here from a regiment in the north, sent by Washington. A good man. He'll be at the meeting and he knows the true situation. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Whoa! Whoa! 
Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. <clears throat> Chief. Yeah. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking oh. peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, Reigns' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shout Help me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Arthur, let's go. I got a shot. You son of a bitch. Open fire on me. Follow me.
do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> Are you okay? Well, yeah. never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin, but I know you. You don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet you, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me, I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy, well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Where if we keep on going? Or if we speed up? 
Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him. My yikes! I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit, hit me, me again! Right here! Right here. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once! Give me your worst! I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. <laughs> There's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't. I think so. Oh, I slipped. And I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <laughs> oh, you all right, girl? So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys, they won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. What? It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here.
So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. some movement in the distance. The detonator's by me. Here. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay. They've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we... Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fire first, soldier! The father won't be happy about this.
This is crazy. Why are we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Peter. Well, they're sending riders from the fort we need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! Hey! We need to ride hard! Stay with me! Sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's see if we can lose them down here. Go on, girl. I guess not. Get behind something, Arthur.
This is it. This. Well, Arthur. Put your hands up. I said, put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. You're mad. Captain, keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. Oh. Um. This is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? <coughs> We're probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell them. You rest up, then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. <laughs> 